All right, guys, this is my first time at Shuta 2023. If you listen for more than five seconds, you'll hear something big or automatic gunfire and a lot of crazy stuff going on. Sounds like it's gonna be a good day. Here we go. You got your can? Yeah. You are ready to go. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> That is so cool. That's really smooth. Yes. Go. That is really cool. Oh, where's the there? Thank you. Those other ones that are brand new are kind of stiff, but once that's kind of worn in, that's slick. That's super slick. It's really fucking hard to go back to a throw lever after doing it. I mean, I mean, spend a day on it, and it's it's like muscle memory. You don't think about it. Yeah, I mean, even if you've got one of them big ass throw bars, that is. I wish there was, and you could still put like a peck up in front of it. Like you're sure. basically using unused.
Okay, I really like that because you guys know I like chest rigs. I have a Badlands chest rig. I have, let's see, this one. The, uh, what's the, okay, the Bino X. This is the one that I have. So, that'd be cool. It's bucked up's out here. So much bucked up. I literally shot bucked up out of a can cannon, so that was cool. It's uh, kind of cool to see the Utah local brands. Dead Air and Silencer Co. Silencer Shop. Watch it, it's very hot, very hot. Yeah, you're right. That tactical oven mitt. Yep. Is it racked? It is not. It is on full auto right now. Okay. Watch that muzzle rise. Okay. You're good to go. That's a good time right there. This thing is crazy. Holy, <laughs> that is crazy. Doesn't weigh very much either. So apparently this 10, or this 22 that this guy's grabbing is stupid go, go right quiet. Do you mind if I video you shoot that? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a pellet gun. Quieter. What the heck? Do they use the back at all? It's only, I know they sold. You are hot. I'm aiming for the low part of that 2 by 4 Wow. You can keep that piece. <laughs> so this is a 300 PRC? This is our Magnus suppressor, so this is that quietest 30 cal. 30 cal, yeah. 23, 21, Job. You got AR style mag controls up here, oh, or you okay. can strip it with your mag release right, right there. Oh, interesting. Perfect. Yeah, it's got a lot of different controls on there, so you can do a bunch of different things. Ooh. Nice. I like it. This is a 50 bull pup. That is quiet, man. Yeah. Got a really light two stage trigger. So huh? Really light two stage okay. trigger. I've never shot a shotgun with the suppressor, so this will be a new one. I've been just 
judging people if they slap it or not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That's a good time right they there. They told me to take it easy with full full max. Cause <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cool, man. That's a yeah, good time. Man. That's quiet, man. Right. This is a suppressed air gun. And it was it just was not fair to them. Your name's That's crazy. I like to tell guys a good steady way is take your, yeah, exactly. Left hand on So you said two dots down for the furthest target? I would guess right in there and then you gotta hold right side. Okay. Okay, you're loaded. Okay, so. So there's two things that I can positively say is that I don't like being on the other end of a minigun. Yeah, there's a berm right here and they're shooting that way, but uh, the parking lot is very kind of paralleled with the shooting range. You totally say if you're behind a berm and they're shooting the opposite direction from you, but you're on the other end of the muzzle. Being on the other end of a minigun, it's a life-altering experience, man. But having cold water in your fridge is very nice. So, one of the nice things about having a first aid kit up here all the time is uh, when you go to a range day and you uh, shoot a full auto AK that is having a lot of malfunctions and you split your finger open, you got something for it. Super skin mod with one of these so I can wrap my finger because that isn't going to keep bleeding all day long. That's a wrap. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to hear over the uh, full auto, fully semi-automatic, full semi-automatic fire. I don't know, but that was a lot of fun. A lot of guns I've never shot before. A lot of suppressed guns I've never shot before. And uh, yeah, that was a good time. Definitely uh, something to check out next year and in, in following years if you're local here in, in Utah or in the industry. All right, guys, be good, be dangerous, be ready. We'll see you on the trail.